We're gonna start off the ceremony by asking our guests of honor to join us up on the stage to music, of course. The graduates will be entering down the center aisle, so we're just gonna ask you, please do not test their radiography skills by jumping out in the aisle in front of them, breaking your ankle, okay? We don't know how good they are yet. No, kidding, we know they're good, I was just joking. But we will provide a photo op later on in the ceremony, so like I said, just try to keep the aisle clear as they come down and enter this, uh, the theater. First we have Carrie Brady. Nicole Cottrell. I close my eyes and I can see a world that's waiting for me. Ivana Garcia. My through the dark, through the Jay door, Gregel. through where no one's been before, but it feels like home. Melanie H Hennessy. They can say, they can say it all sounds crazy. Natalie Hill. They can say, they can say I've lost my mind. I don't care, I don't care if they call me crazy. We can live in a Alicia world that we Cause every night I have been Randall like Harris colors fill my head A million dreams are keeping me away Helen Lenny Griffin Danielle Melchiori. Courtney Rayfires a house we can build. Every room inside is filled. Paige Schultz from far away. Special things. Anthony Trey. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the graduating class of Cumberland County College Radiography Program 2019. It is my pleasure to invite Cumberland County College's two-time interim president, Dr. Shelley Schneider, to the podium for her welcome. Thank you, Ms. Peacock. On behalf of the Board of Trustees and the entire campus, I'd like to congratulate you on being a member of the radiography class of 2019. It is nothing short of hard work and determination that has brought our students to this point. Many having to balance school, family and friends, and even work. This is no easy task. In addition to our graduates, I want to recognize the family members, faculty, and friends who helped support our students. It is through the combined efforts of students, faculty, staff, family and friends, and our community that Cumberland County College thrives. As of July 1st, this college will be named Rowan College of South Jersey. 
Although the name will change, our radiography program will continue to serve our students with the same high quality education as under the name of Cumberland County College. Again, a heartfelt congratulations to our extraordinary students. Tonight, we celebrate you for all of your accomplishments. We are so proud of you. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Schneider, for being with us tonight and also for your exemplary service to this institution over the past year, and you will be missed. Okay, so there are others here that I have to introduce as well. Most I say have to, because I always mess this up. I'm gonna try hard not to. We'll start with myself, who I always neglect to introduce. I'm Barbara Peacock, if you don't know me, the program's clinical coordinator. Up on stage, we have Mr. Robert Peacock. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, my husband's name is Robert, too. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Robert Champa, the program director. Uh, we have Ms. Joanne Salvatore, our lab assistant. We have Joyce Webster, who is our uh, administrative assistant extraordinaire, and you will be hearing from her later on. We have Dr. Deidre Conroy back there, wave. Okay, and she's our associate dean of nursing health science and allied health. Um, we also have Dr. Susan Hall, Dean of Nursing and Allied Health. We have Stella Barber, Assistant Dean of Nursing. And I might add that those ladies come from um, Rowan and who we will now be merged with. So we're happy to have them here with us. So also out in the audience, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot, Dr. Soloway is back here. He is the chairman of the rheumatology department at Inspira, and he also owns his own private office uh, practice here in Vineland, so you may have seen him at some time. So yeah, okay. So in the front row, we have two of our adjunct clinical instructors. They're people that go around, visit the hospitals, help keep me in the loop. Um, they work with the students, they work with the other clinical instructors. So we have Ada scott and Christina Wilden. Stand up, say hello. Okay. I also noticed as we were milling about out front, we have a bunch of alumni here from the program. If you are a radiography alumnus from Cumberland County College, Stand up, I see some of you, so don't avoid me. There you go. Thank you. And we also have our first year radiography students, which I can only say that for, what, eight more days late? Um, so if you're here, your first year students, stand up and be recognized. You will be seniors very soon, okay? Okay, so the next group I want to introduce is a pretty lengthy but very important group of people. So bear with me for a second and we'll get through these. So at each clinical site, all the hospitals and the offices that we send our students to, one or more of the radiographers are selected to be responsible for the supervision of the students while they're at their assigned site. This is where the students get their hands-on training, which I'm sure most of you have heard all about it through tears and laughter probably. They um, spend a whopping 1,600 hours at their clinical site through the two years, so they do bond. The clinical instructors provide the guidance and support for the students, and they complete the tons of paperwork that we make them do here from the college to document their progress and provide proof that we're graduating competent professional individuals who are ready to get out there and become part of that healthcare workforce. So these students would not be here today without the assistance of their clinical instructors, and I think they would all agree to that. So what I'm gonna do is list each of the 15 sites and all the clinical instructors from that site, whether they're here or not, just to give them their um, recognition. If you are here, please stand up and stay standing until we finish naming all the CIs. All right, so from Atlantic Care City Campus, I saw these ladies, Jackie Augustine and Trania Lopeman. Courtney Perry, and Cynthia Gellermain. Mainland campus of Atlantic Care, we have Bill Cressman, Christopher Iacone, Mary Beth O'Brien, and Roseanne Mott. Cape Regional, Marcella Prophet, Dawn Moser, Kim Bolin, Heidi Howell, 
in Spira Elmer, Robert Scola, and Miles Ashmore. There he is, there's Miles, I thought he was coming. There's in Spira Vineland, Omira Bernard, Mark Childers, Ada Scott, who's also here, um, Christina Wilden, Janet Montero, and Tara Richman. I saw Tara as well, she's here somewhere. Stand up, don't be shy. All right, Woodbury, Joanne Salvatore. No, thank you. <laughs> Roe McAnally and Stacy Wren. Bridgeton, we have Jenna Legg, Michelle Ball, and Rosalind Logan. From the Jefferson Health System, Christopher Ruther, Jana Smith, Marilyn Vitulo, and Danielle Yates. I know they wanted to be here and they couldn't make it tonight. Jefferson Stratford, Maureen Lindstrom, I saw her. There you go. Jill Kump, Sharon Shelton, and Kim Nymjura. Jefferson Cherry Hill, we have Kellyanne Emery is also here. Um, Stephanie Magasini and Meryl Muller, Brianna Hawkins. From Salem Medical Center, Brandy Ortiz, Joe Cook, Joe Campari, and Camila Berry. Atlantic Medical Imaging, Patricia Smith. The Arthritis and Rheumatology Center, Tim Liskey. Center for Diagnostic Imaging, Karen Perla and Jennifer Saklaban. Jefferson Outpatient Center, Colleen McCulloch and Jennifer Jarecki. So that is all of them. Okay, thank you very much, people. Give me a round of okay, at this time, I would like to ask Miss Joyce Webster to come on up. Welcome, distinguished guests, faculty, family members, and friends. So glad you can be here on this special night. I heard when people are the keynote speaker, they get honorary degrees. So I will be expecting an honorary radiography degree in my mailbox on Monday. Time goes by so fast, so just savor every moment. Take it all in. Class of 2019, I'm so proud of you for all your hard work. I'm getting emotional, and I don't know why, because I never had to sit through one of Mr. Champa's excruciating exams. <laughs> it's so nice to see all your family and friends here tonight. Um, I know they were here for you on this journey and saw all the blood, sweat, and tears that you guys have put into this program. It is truly a great occasion. I have been working at this college for five years. I have a bachelor's degree in hospitality management from Stockton. When I started here, I was in admissions and registration. A couple years later, admissions and registration, financial aid, and the bursar all became one department, so I had to learn them all. When I received the job as the administrative assistant for Allied Health, I was really excited this position allows me to work with students on a closer basis and allows me to get to know you all more. I hope that I have brought all my experience from enrollment to help you out with anything you needed. I was honored when the class asked me to be the keynote speaker. I don't know if they realize, but this is the first radiography class I've ever sent acceptance letters to. I remember you dropping off your packets asking questions and wondering what your chances of getting in were. I will never forget when I sent out the first acceptance emails and got a response back not even two minutes later saying you accept your seat. I'm not going to name names, but you know who you are. I politely responded back, that is great, but don't forget to pay your deposit. <laughs> I think students get really excited when they see the word congratulations and don't finish the, reading the email further. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe I should move congratulations to the end of the email. I was excited to see you all at orientation and happy there wasn't more of you or else I would need a bigger office. I remember all of you standing in my office with your registration consent forms after I registered you, told you about payment due date, chargebacks for out-of-county students, and answered any other questions you asked. I'm so delighted to be a part of your journey at Cumberland County College. I feel like I was your concierge, sideline cheerleader, rooting for you from my office. I was even more happy to be your Vanna White when Ms. Peacock and Ms. Salvatore needed me to um, make an instructional video to help you with your positioning. I was there to take class pictures on special occasions, register you for your classes, and try to answer any questions you have. 
I watched as you worked after class in the labs and tried not to step on you when you sat on the floor in the hallways. I was, even, I was more happy to answer all your emails, no matter what time of the day it was. I was told, um, if you love what you do, you never have to work a day in your life. That is how I feel. And even after you graduate tonight, um, and I walk down the hallway and see your class picture, it will bring a smile to my face. I know that all of you will do amazing because you had such a strong team. Believe me, you will never find any better teachers than Mr. Champa, Ms. Peacock, and Ms. Salvatore. I am sure you know this anyway, but they say the backbone's connected to the shoulder bone, the shoulder bone's connected to the backbone. I'm sorry, I love that song. <laughs> I have, to, I have to leave you with my all-time favorite quote from Walt Disney. All your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. Congratulations, Radiography Class of 2019. Thank you, Joyce. That was very nice. Um, can we have Carrie Brady and Helen Linney Griffin come up, please? Good evening, everyone. Thank you all for being here with us on this very special day. My name is Carrie Brady, and I was lucky enough to be the president of this amazing radiography class. I am Helen Griffin, secretary of the class. We are so honored to stand here tonight and speak on behalf of this incredible group. So we just completed two long, difficult years of our lives, consisting of hundreds of clinical hours and quite a few happy hours. The work that we have done definitely should not go unrecognized, so I would like to start off by telling you exactly what being an x-ray technologist means and what we have done over these last two years. An x-ray technologist is someone who takes images of various different body parts using special equipment that literally takes two years to just understand. Those images are then sent to a radiologist who is able to read them and diagnose a patient's medical condition. X-ray technologists work directly with doctors, surgeons, and nurses. Our day includes many hours in the operating room. We take images in the ICU, the NICU, cardiovascular unit, emergency room, and many other floors of the hospital. However, the hospital is not the only facility that we are needed in. Our skills are used in outpatient imaging centers located in your town. Wherever we go and whatever we do, our number one priority is the patient. We give exceptional care every step of the way to the individual in need and their loved ones. These past two years have been nothing but everything but easy. Not only did we complete clinical hours, but class hours too, consisting of anatomy, patient care, x-ray procedures, and physics, which have, with all of the late night studying, panicking before professor, Professor Champa's test and Barb and Joanne Sims put aside, I can truly say this is one of the most educational, interesting, rewarding, and fulfilling fields in the medical field. <clears throat> everything we have done and everything we have learned would not be possible if it wasn't for the amazing teachers, clinical instructors, technologists, and people that we've met along the way. I want to take the time to thank all of the teaching hospitals that have allowed us students to learn and continue our education through their site. I want to personally thank Elmer Hospital in Spira and Atlantic Care Mainland Campus and Jefferson Kennedy Imaging Outpatient Center for everything that they have done for me as a student and for what, for what is to come in the future. I want to thank my mom and my dad and my entire family for their love and support, encouragement, and their financial <laughs> support. <laughs> I can assure all of you in this audience, we will be in a much better mood from now on. <laughs> I would personally like to acknowledge my husband, Jerry, and the rest of my family for basically not seeing me for the last two years as I juggled multiple jobs, clinical, classes, and long study hours. Thank you for always having my back and encouraging me to keep pushing forward. Thank you to Atlantic City Medical <laughs> Center, <laughs> Atlantic Medical Imaging, and to Cape Regional Medical Center for giving me the knowledge and confidence to move onward and upward in my career. I will forever be grateful. 
Barbara Peacock, Mr. Bob Champa, Joanne Salvador, we really do applaud you for each of the amount of knowledge you know and the teaching skills you possess. From running such a wonderful step-by-step -step program to having last year's graduating class pass the radiolo radiology boards with a 100% passing rate, meaning all 20 students passed the exam on the first try. As teachers, you should be really proud. I have absolutely no doubt that my class will amount to the same success, and we have the three of you to thank for that. Joyce Webster, we nominated you to be our guest speaker this year because we felt that the hard work and dedication that you bring to this radiology program every single day should be honored. There was never once a time, and I can vouch for this, <laughs> and she knows I can too, uh, where Joyce did not respond to our emails and phone calls or register us for our classes at the very last minute, and she did so with a smile on her face. Cumberland County is very lucky to have you. We all want to thank you for your help over these two years. Lastly, to the individuals who were all once strangers who are now our best friends, congratulations. I cannot believe this day is finally here. Although we travel from all over the state of New Jersey, I know we will keep in touch and our friendship will last forever. Many of us have already been offered positions in the field and some of us will be even lucky to work together. Thank you all so much for always working so well with one another, being supportive, and never going a day without laughing together in class. I want to wish everyone luck on taking their boards within the next few weeks. I know we will do great. And thank all of you again and to all the families and friends in the audience for coming out tonight. We really appreciate it. Have a wonderful night, everyone. <laughs> Lastly, we wanted to present the little gifts that we thought of to each of our teachers. So give us a minute to present them. <laughs> Professor Champa, this is for you. Thank you. You're welcome. What about my test? <laughs> <laughs> Physics tests were very hard. <laughs> and Barb. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you, ladies. Um, it is now time for us to see some of the memories that these guys have gone through in the last two years. So we've put together a little slideshow that I hope you enjoy. Feel free to turn if you want to see. I can almost see it, that dream I'm dreaming. There's a voice inside my head saying, you'll never reach it. Every step I'm taking, every move I make feels lost with no direction. My faith is shaken, but I, I gotta keep trying, gotta keep
That was our technical glitch for the night. The music was supposed to end with the slides, but okay. But I hope you enjoyed that. And it was funny when we watched it yesterday for the first time, they all said, boy, I forgot we did so many of those things. So it was nice to reminisce. Okay, so at this time, I have to get my program. We need um, Mr. Champa to come on up here and do the first set of award presentations. Uh, there are several awards we're going to present tonight, but first we have to cover one important thing. What about my test? <laughs> uh, there are two scholarships available for radiography students through the Cumberland County College Foundation. The first one is the Mr. and Mrs. David A. Levitsky Scholarship. 
This scholarship is awarded to a first-year student from Cumberland County and is based on both didactic and clinical skills. The recipient of this scholarship is Leanne Miller, who has achieved a GPA of 3.78 in her first year in the radiography program. Okay. Okay. Leanne, you here? Huh? Oh. By the way, uh, friends and relatives of the recipients, feel free to come on down and get some close up pictures. These are your celebrations as much as theirs. We are fortunate tonight to have <coughs> Dr. Soloway to present the Stephen A. Soloway Award. So on behalf of Dr. Soloway, which is me, I um, am here to present the student Courtney Rafine for having the highest grade point average in the class and after looking at the videos, I thought, gosh, I couldn't make this class because I couldn't go to the brass tap because I don't drink much, and I can't figure out the facial bones yet. But anyway, Courtney is part of an outstanding group of people who probably all came in second place, but somebody has to be number one. So I have a check here for Courtney, um, and Courtney's the vice president of the radiology club, and Courtney's the president of some other organization, and Courtney's the Honor Society chairperson. Courtney is, I guess, Miss Radiology or something. <laughs> so we hope to hire her, maybe. Many student awards are presented at the President's Honor C Ceremony in May. I have requested that the radiography awards be presented at Penning in order to make it a more personal experience for the recipients. The Student Club Award is provided by the Office of Student Life. I am happy to present this award to Kerry Brady in recognition for her outstanding work as Radiography Club President. Lambda Nu. Lambda Nu is the National Honor Society for the Radiologic and Imaging Sciences. Cumberland County College is one of only four radiography programs in the state who is a member of Lambda Nu. To apply to become a member of the society, a student must have completed at least 30 credits in radiography courses, maintain a 3.5 GPA in these courses, provide evidence of professional commitment to the field, and provide two recommendations. The graduates have already received an honor cord and pin prior to uh, college co commencement. I would now like to ask each of the inductees to come forward when their name is called to receive their certificate declaring their membership in Lambda Nu. Oh, okay. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. Nicole Cottrell. I don't know if they're in order. They were alphabetical. They were alphabetical. Yeah. Ashley McKelvin. Danielle Melchiori. Courtney Rayfine. And Francisco Trejo.
Yeah. Is there anybody here? Yeah. Yes, he is. Um, guys, I just got those certificates. Could you come up front for a picture? Would you mind coming up and getting a picture of the five of them? Okay, thanks. Give me the head back. Oh, somebody else? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> the Academic Award. The academic courses in the radiology program are intense. I should know. I teach many of them, and apparently my tests prove it. But, uh, <laughs> The amount of time necessary for studying have to fit in with time in clinical, traveling, family and employment responsibilities, and often the vain attempt to have a life during the last two years. To succeed academically in the program is a great accomplishment. The Radiography Academic Award is based on several items, GPA and radiography courses, test grades, and participation in class among the areas considered. I'm very pleased to present the plaque representing the radiology program academic award to Nicole Cottrell, who achieved a grade point average of 3.95. Any pictures? Oh, 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 I tell you, you can no respect up here. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, this happens all the time. My papers get covered up. Okay. Um, Joanne, could you come up, please? So the clinical award Joanne and I will present, and the cl clinical award nominees are ranked using a point system for their clinical performance during their first and second years in the program. The ranking includes a lot of different things, but clinical grades, attendance, adherence to policy, patient care skills, recommendations from the clinical instructors, and our adjunct clinical instructors. So this year we are again presenting two awards, um, which will go to Kerry Brady and Jade Gregel. Okay, so awards are done. What do you think is next? This is what everybody's here for. We are ready to do the pinning of the graduates. So I'll just give you a couple of quick um, instructions. We want the family members and friends who are going to pin the graduate to come up from this side and they will meet the graduate right in the center. And then when they're done with the pinning, do not leave, turn and face that way so we can get a nice photo. And this is the time for any family members who want to, everybody come on down, get their pictures. This is, this is it, your photo op for the night, okay? And we will be going alphabetic order so you know who's coming up next. Um, when you're done with the picture, if you could exit off that side of the stage so everybody flows in one direction, okay? Um, so you're going to say the names and the, who's pinning who? Uh, Here's my list. There we go. <clears throat> Kerry Brady will be pinned by her mother, Andrea Brady, and a boyfriend, Kevin Newman. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently someone else. Three people. Coming up?
Ahern. Nicole Cottrell will be pinned by her, boy, her boyfriend, Eric Lankinson. Lankinow. Lankinow. Lankinow, I'm sorry. It's my handwriting. <laughs> Maybe. Ivana Garcia will be pinned by her parents, Refuge, and Benjamin Garcia. Jade Gregel will be pinned by her mother, Julie Folker, her grandfather, John Gregel, and her boyfriend, Paul Spicer. Melanie Hennessy will be pinned by her children, Devin and Nicholas. Natalie Hill will be pinned by her parents, Christina and Daryl Hill. Elliot Hurd will be pinned by his mother, Danielle Hurd, and his girlfriend, Alicia Ledden. <laughs> Alicia will be entering the program as a part of the class of 2021. Felicia Hyman will be pinned by her fiancé, Gerald Bryant.
Grand O'Erian will be pinned by his mother, Leslie Esposito. Helen Linney Griffin will be pinned by her mother, Teresa Linney, and her husband, Jerry Griffin. Ashley McKelvin will be pinned by her mother, Wendy McKelvin, <clears throat> and her stepfather, Valentine Cortez. <laughs> Danielle Melchiori will be pinned by her mother, Dawn Melchiori. Courtney Refine will be pinned by her fiancé, Eddie Smith. Paige Schultz will be pinned by her mother, Peggy Schultz. Anthony Trejo will be pinned by his sister, Lori Trejo, and his friends, Jose Vargas, Jocelyn Cruz, and Jeremy Mason. I'm getting used to it. <laughs> Caitlin Tucker will be pinned by her mother, Melinda Carr, 
and Caitlin will become a second generation RT. <laughs> And now what you've been waiting for for two years, the last time you have to listen to me speak. <laughs> Before I begin my talk, I, uh, let me announce that there will be, uh, at the end of the ceremony, there will be a reception in the auditorium. And at the conclusion of the ceremony, the graduates will be marching out. Please do not leave until after the graduates have passed by. After two years here, they did their fir first crack at that piece of cake out there. I'd like to ask the graduates to stand and join me as we acknowledge the tremendous job Barbara Peacock performed while I was away. Okay. And graduates, please remain standing as there is another group that you need to praise. You have to honor the people who have supported you during the good times and the bad. Those who have to listen to you and fake attention as you try to explain just how interesting radiolysis of a water could be and why you performed the BE before you did the upper GI. The people who made financial and emotional sacrifices as an investment in you and your future. Grads, Please give a round of applause to your family and friends who have made it possible for you to be here tonight. And you can sit. <laughs> oh. Well, when you first started, I bet it seemed like it was going to be the longest two years in your life. And tonight, you may be asking yourself, where did it all go? My lecture is on the, the differences between density and contrast, Barbara's ability to get you to correctly position your patient for any exam, Joanne's encouraging recommendations during return demos. By the way, it's better for everyone if you do not look up what those words mean in Sicilian. Okay. The work of your clinical instructors showing you how to turn didactic knowledge into the ability to provide excellent patient care and produce quality images. All of these had one purpose, to bring you here tonight on this stage and bring you to the brink of the next phase of your life as healthcare professionals with all the responsibilities and privileges included in the term registered technologist. It is traditional in ceremonies such as this to say that the future is yours, but I don't believe it. The future belongs to the juniors in the audience. The present time is yours. Take the present time and make it better, as I know you can. And now, last few years I've always ended my speech the same way, because I can't think of a better way to say what I want. We don't say goodbye here because goodbye is permanent. You will always be part of the radiography program, just as Cumberland County College will always be part of you. So, after two years of you hearing thousands of words from me explaining just why beam diversion is the answer to everything, <laughs> I'm going to end it with just one sentence. Farewell and God bless. Ladies and gentlemen, God bless you.
thank you again for coming, and we are ready for our exit music so they can dance off the stage. No, not really. Uh, graduates, please don't forget your photographs, and don't forget your envelopes on the table, on the floor if you put them down. Again. Congratulations, everybody.